Hey there, this is Matthew Crandall. I just have decided to record a video based off of something that I posted to Imgur recently to try and explain some things a little bit better. The images that I put together initially were really difficult to see because this is a three-dimensional object. So I'm going to just try and do my best to explain how this all works. So the purpose of this is to automatically breed seeds so that I can give it two seeds of the same type and have it turn them into the best possible version of that seed that it can make. So say for instance, I gave it two beginner wheat seeds or two beginner carrot seeds or whatever, turn it automatically into 10, 10, 10 characteristics on those seeds. So the first thing to note is there are five chests here. Chest number one is filled with bone meal. This chest is actually not necessary, but the turtle expects it to be there and it will behave as if it is there. It won't cause any problems, it just makes the turtle behave a little bit weird. Chest number two over here is how the turtle gets its fuel. You can use either coal or charcoal to fuel the turtle. However, if you change settings in the file for the turtle's program, you can use other types of fuel as well. I just wanted to use charcoal and coal because that's probably going to be most people's default fuel. The next chest over here is where you put crop sticks. The turtle will automatically go here and expect crop sticks to be provided. Chest number four is where the turtle will put any seeds that it has already bred to perfection. By default, the turtle will try to put about 30 seeds into there. In fact, it's scripted to put 30 seeds in there, but because of how the algorithm works, it actually stops at 28 because one of the seeds will eventually go here, the other seed will eventually go here, and when the turtle's done running, it'll throw them all away and put them in this trash can. The last chest over here, this is the input for the turtle. You put two seeds into here right now, and when you turn the turtle on and tell it to run my program, it will come to this chest, grab the seeds, plant them, and work with the seeds as that input, with that input. The next thing to note, I have three autonomous activators right here. This one facing inward, lag. This one facing into the middle, this one facing inward to the right. Something to note, I've defined that direction to be forward, that direction to be backward, that direction to be left, and that direction to be right. Another thing to be aware of is that in order for the turtle to use the seed analyzers that are right here, these three, that the turtle is on top of the middle one, the turtle needs to know what direction forward is. That is a setting in the file. All of the settings are at the top in the program. Um, and that is how the turtle knows how to say, hey, seed analyzer, how, what type of seed is in front of you and what are its statistics and stuff like that. So you need three autonomous activators. You need these computer controlled seed analyzers these five chests where this chest is optional and i almost forgot the autonomous activators i have them set to have a redstone control of high when the turtle is using these to interact with this environment it will automatically provide a redstone signal to um to these autonomous activators in order to have them do their work and so we only want them to be active when they're got on, put on high. Otherwise, it can cause a few issues, especially this bad guy right here. If this guy is not on high, the turtle's going to go crazy. Um, I think that's just about all of the important things. So, first of all, if you want to have your turtle automatically turn on and start doing the work as expected, I would recommend that you go to, um, looking it up on my other monitor, go and download this paste bin file and put it as your startup program for the turtle. This will automatically, every time the turtle turns on, make sure that the directories are configured, configure them if they aren't, and then download the main algorithm for breeding seeds and automatically run it. That's what that line does right there. In order to do that, you can type paste bin get 
V U X S N two M X case matters and then startup. Because I already have it, if I hit enter right now, this will give me an error because the file already exists. However, if the file already exists, I can say delete startup and then say paste bin get VUXSN2MX startup again and now it will download the file properly. Now, if you notice, I didn't have to type it the second time. That's because I'm using the up and down arrow keys to iterate through my most recent commands. So you can see that I have a file called testing and a file called startup. Testing doesn't matter, you can ignore it. This is where I have my programs. Currently I only have one. And you can see this is where the file is actually located at. So that's just the basics to get the file down there. Like I said, you don't have to do the startup thing. You can also go and download the file manually if you want. The URL for the file, if you wanted manual, is now displayed on the left. I would recommend that you do something like paste bin get v1 mqrvqv and then the name of the file. Note that when putting in the paste bin URL, it is case sensitive. You need the uppercase and lowercase characters. And so now I can, I'm going to take these out to demonstrate something. So now I can either run breed seeds or because I've already downloaded that startup program, it'll automatically set up breed seeds as well, which means I could just turn the computer off and on or even mine it and then place the computer back down in order to get it going. So there's a number of options to start this baby up. I'm going to just call breed seeds and let it run as it would normally run. So I'm typing in breed seeds, hit enter. Okay, so the very first thing the turtle does is it tries to orient itself so it knows where it's located. That's what it just did right there. Now it went over to pick up a stack of bone meal because it knows it needs it. Then it went and picked up some crop sticks. Now it's planting crop sticks because it detects that it needs to. At this point, the turtle is going to analyze if there's seeds in any of these positions. It just was easier to program it this way. It will not be the case, but I decided to make it work like that anyways because I'm using reusing functions and stuff like that. Technical reasons. So now if you look at the turtle, you can see it's saying it's waiting for one input seeds. Place a seed in the chest above the turtle. So this is where I would put the seeds in there. You notice I can give it unidentified seeds or identified seeds. It doesn't actually matter. It would work just fine either way because the first thing the turtle does when it grabs a seed is it'll go right above one of these seed analyzers, put the seed in it, analyze it, analyze what the values of the seeds are, and then plant it appropriately as necessary. It has to do that regardless of whether or not the seed has been analyzed because the turtle can't just look at the seed and figure out what values are there. It needs to go through the seed analyzer to get it either way. So if I give it one seed right now, the turtle will eventually detect that it found the seed, goes over here, puts it into that analyzer. It'll now put it into that autonomous activator, which it will power and then use bone meal to automatically grow it. It'll now go over here, waiting for the second seed, because I didn't give it a second seed. So it's yelling at me right now saying, hey, dummy, give me a seed, please. I need to do my worst job. So I can put that seed into the chest. The turtle will pick it up in a few seconds. It will analyze it there, put it on the autonomous activator, and then it will come over here now and just sit here and wait for the seed to appear. Every once in a while, you'll see the turtle moving forward. It'll try to put bone meal on top of the thing in front of it so that the seed will grow. Once it detects the seed is grown, it will harvest the seed eventually. It's a little bit finicky, but it works eventually. It'll pick up the seed and then it will replace either its right parent or its left parent. So you see as that was happening, the seed over here, technically the left one, based off of the orientation I've defined, um, grew onto the middle. So what's really cool about this and better than any other turtle algorithm that I've seen that does this, is this turtle will use bone meal. So that is one thing that this has that's a, um, 
makes it better than any other algorithm I've seen so far. That's why I wanted to post this. Um, so the turtle's just going to keep on going. Every time it finds a bad seed or rejects a seed, it throws it into this trash can. You don't actually need to use a trash can. You just need to use an arbitrary inventory, which will empty itself automatically and dump it somewhere else. So you could put something like a chest here and then have something that extracts stuff out of it and dumps it into like a void pipe or into a bucket of lava or whatever. You just need to ultimately eliminate whatever is in there. It'll get seeds, it'll get whatever the produce are, so in this instance papyrus, but it could use potatoes, wheat, lavender, whatever, whatever you're growing. Just any junk will eventually end up in that trash can. Once the turtle gets to the point where it's making perfect seeds, they will be put into this chest. As you can see, this seed right here is a 10, 8, 10 seed. It's kind of hard. It's small at the top of the screen. And this seed is also 10, 8, 10. So the turtle's pretty close to getting the seeds to a perfect state. So once the turtle finally gets to a perfect seed, it will eventually dump seeds there instead of in the trash can. Up to, like I said, um, a default of 30. So you can see that it has a fitness function to analyze when seeds are better than other seeds. It's currently on 38. 40 is the maximum with the algorithm I put. That's a 10, 9, 10 seed. 38 could be either 9, 10, 10, 10, 9, 10, or 10, 10, 9, because it adds up the three values. And then it adds on top of that the value of the lowest, which means that whatever value it calculates prioritizes eliminating the weakest value first if you're curious as to how that works. So that's the seed breeder going on and doing its thing. Let's look into the algorithm itself. You can ignore basically all of this stuff right here. This I was just using for myself. Here's the little note at the top saying I wrote this. Please don't steal this from me without credit. These are the settings you can see right here because of the comment. This is how many perfect seeds I want the turtle to breed before it finishes its work. This is the name of the block on the right border. Notice it's lapis. There's lapis over there. Name of the block on the left, emerald. Name of the block on the front, wool. Name of the block on the back, stone. Name of the seed analyzer. I think this actually isn't necessary, and I may remove it in a future version. I just didn't care to right now. This is the name of the crop sticks that are being used, and it is used by the turtle. This is the name of the fuel. An interesting finick about this is charcoal and coal have the same name as far as the turtle can see. So that's why either charcoal or coal will work as fuel. Now for bone meal, I need to give a name of a fertilizer. I don't know if there's any other fertilizers in the game. The only fertilizer that I'm aware of is bone meal. But for whatever reason, the turtle thinks that the name of bone meal is Minecraft colon die. Minecraft is the mod, the default game for Minecraft, and the name of the item itself is die. I don't know why it's grumpy like that, but whatever, I'll just accept it and live with it. This is probably the most important setting that you're going to have to actually change. Assuming that you follow the rest of my design here with emerald, lapis, wool, and whatever. Because this is whatever direction the, quote, front of the system is. The front being where the wool is back there. That's the front. Um, you can access what direction that is by hitting F three and up in the top left hand corner you can see that it says south about where my cursor is so by default i set it to south but if for whatever reason you've rotated where the front is you need to change it from south to the actual value south north east or west notice that these are all caps if you give something that's not all caps it will crash the program the rest of these you can ignore, in fact it's probably best you don't mess with it because you might break stuff. And here's the rest of the code for the algorithm. If you understand it, awesome, you're smart. If you don't, awesome, you're probably still smart, but you just, you're not a programmer, or at the very least you don't know Lua and computer craft. So that's about everything that I can think of for now to show you. Uh, let's go see what the status of my turtle is. Oh, it's now on 10, 10, 10 on the right. 10, 10, 10 on the left. It has four perfect seeds. And if we look here, we can watch what the turtle's saying. It's giving us some statistics. It's on generation nine. That's not quite correct because it started off with a better than bad seed. 
it now knows there's five seeds that are perfect that it's bred, and you will see that they're right there. So this papyrus that's sitting in the turtle's inventory will eventually be thrown away into the trash can. The turtle periodically goes and purges everything in its inventory that is not bone meal or crop sticks. Now, if you see the turtle sometimes just moving forward and back, but not actually using bone meal, that's because the turtle ran out of bone meal. It will only actually come here and stock up on bone meal between generations, as in after it's harvested a seed and then planted it on top of one of the parents or thrown the seed away if it's a bad seed. And then in, in between that cycle is where it'll check to say, hey, do I have bone meal still? Oh, no, I don't. Okay, let's go pick some up from the chest. So it's moving forward as if it has bone meal. It doesn't actually have it. I may fix that. I don't know. So this may no longer be an issue. But anyways, well, there it is. We now have six seeds. Um, thanks for watching.